right, today we are going to start our gumball machines. We'll finish them up in color next week. But today we're just going to do the black outlining after we draw it. And then we're going to use a cup dipped in paint to create our circles for our gumball. It's called a print. When you take the paint from some shape and you push down, it leaves a print of that shape behind. Now the first thing you're going to do on your gumball machine is you're going to take your paper and then there should be a line at the top of your paper. Make sure that is at the top of the page. You're going to flip your paper over and put your name on the back. When you're done with that, you're going to flip your page back over, making sure that that line is at the top, and then get ready to start. You're going to watch me first, and then I will tell you when it's your turn to go ahead and start. The first thing we're going to do is take this circle template. I am drawing in Sharpie today so that you can see it on the screen. You should be drawing in pencil. Watch what I do, and then it will be your turn. I'm going to put the circle template at the top, where the top part of it meets that line I folded, and it's about in the center of the page. Then I'm going to push down really hard holding that circle template and I'm going to trace all the way around my circle. Let's see if I can get a Sharpie that will work. Here we go. I started at the top so I'm going to go back and end right at the top so I have a whole circle. All right now it is your turn to make your circle. The next thing you're going to do is we are going to take our pencil and draw like a rectangle shape at the bottom. It's just missing the top of the rectangle. So we're going to start on the side of the gumball, not way over here, not too far in the center. Um, if you go to the center and skip over a couple of fingers, that's probably about where you'll start. Notice how big my shape is. It goes down to almost the bottom of the page. You want it nice and big. And what you're going to do, watch me first, and then it's your turn. You're going to go diagonal towards the corner of the page over here, straight across with your pencil, and then you're going to go diagonal down to this corner of the page. Now it's your turn. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a big square in the middle of our gumball machine kind of like where you would put your coins. So watch me first, and then it's your turn. Notice, well, then mine's more of a rectangle, and that's okay. But notice how big it is. And then I'm going to put a big X from corner to corner. Now it's your turn. All right, the next thing we're going to do is make the little part where the gumball comes out of the machine. Watch me first, and then it will be your turn. To make that part, I'm going to do a straight line across, almost as big as my rectangle. And then the letter U, I'm going to make the letter U from one corner all the way up to the other corner of my line. Now it's your turn. All right, the last thing we're going to do is draw the top of the gumball machine. Again, watch me first, and then it will be your turn. I'm going to start about where I started for my bottom piece and then kind of go up and around and down. It's your turn. Try that shape on the top of your machine. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make the same shape but a little bit smaller. Watch me first and then it's your turn. Notice how I left the Space is nice and big, though. I want to make sure I can get those colored in next week. Now it's your turn. All right, the last thing we're going to do is draw just a tiny little ball on the top of your gumball machine. Go ahead and draw the top of your gumball machine. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make our circle prints using a cup and black paint. When you use this, be very careful because as you go from the plate to the paper, 
sometimes it can drip. So when I do it, I kind of hold it up a minute, make sure there's no drips coming off. I don't splash it around. I don't want to get anybody, any black paint on anyone. Kind of just make sure the drips are gone before I do my stamp. And if you notice, sometimes drips happen, just like on mine, and that's perfectly fine. Sometimes that stuff happens when you're doing art. So you're going to watch me first so that you know how to do your prints. What you do is you're gonna take your cup, stick it in the paint. I'm using the very bottom of the cup because it's smaller than the top of the cup, and I want my gumballs to fit in my machine. Once I know it's not really dripping anymore, I push down in one spot. Now don't move it around. All you do is set it down, push just a little bit, and when you pull back up, you should have a nice round circle. Try to make sure you get paint on all the edges of the bottom of your cup so that you don't have any pieces that are left empty. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my cup, push down, don't move the cup, and then pull back up. And I'm going to continue to do that until I have as many gumballs as my machine as you want. I'm going to try to fill it up the best I can. If you move the cup around, see that one's a little messed up and that's okay. If you move the cup around, it kind of smudges it a lot. So you want to make sure the cup is nice and still. And there could be chunks in your paint too, and that's okay. Once you've got enough circles, you can stop. All right, now it's your turn to go ahead and do the circles on your paper. All right, the last thing we're gonna do on our gumball machine is we are going to take a paintbrush and we are going to trace all of our pencil lines in black paint. When you do this, please start at the top and trace everything at the top before you go to the bottom. If you do the bottom first, you're more likely to get that paint on your stomach or your belly and your shirt because it's so close to the end of the table. So I start at the top of the picture and I work my way down. So you're going to take, when it's your turn, watch me first, you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to Trace your pencil lines with black paint. Sometimes your lines are a little messed up and that's okay. So I've got the top trace. The next thing I wanna trace as I'm working my way down is the big circle that holds the gumballs. So kind of use it like a pencil in a way, but it's gonna leave a much thicker, much darker line than our Sharpies usually do. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace this, and then I'm gonna stop and let you guys go ahead and do the top part of your gumball machine. So it's now your turn. Go ahead and finish the top part, tracing your gumball machine. When we come back, we'll finish it up. All right, now that you've got your whole top of your gumball machine ready, the last thing we're going to do, watch me first, and then it'll be your turn, is we are going to trace the bottom of your gumball machine in black paint. So each time I go back and dip a little bit more, and I just kind of do long strokes, try to stay on the lines the best I can. And I'm even going to trace the lines on the details on the bottom of the gumball machine. So I'm going to trace the rectangle or square and the X in the middle. And then last, I'm going to trace where the gumball comes out. So when you are finished, your paper should look something like this. When you're done, Go ahead and carefully put it over to dry, carrying it with two hands. Go ahead and finish your gumball, and then you can put it up to dry.